Nauru may be one of the smallest countries in the world, but there's no shortage of things to do whenever you visit this stunning island. Here are the top things to do in Nauru, and you certainly would want to stick around until the end as our number one activity will blow your mind. Number nine, go scuba diving in the coral reef. This one is for adventure lovers. There are not many more thrilling ways to kick off your tour around this small island country than this adrenaline pumping activity. Of course, you already know you will witness or indulge in many scuba diving activities here in Oceania. But scuba diving in the coral reefs surrounding Nauru Island certainly takes this experience to a new level, and here's why. The water here is beautiful and sparkling clean, making it a delight for anyone who ventures close enough. For some, this water needs to be seen to be believed, but tourists who have visited this unique destination have confirmed that it's worth every hype. The coral buildup and the ecosystem in the water are equally as impressive, and it's no wonder many divers from around the world often have this reef on their bucket list. With the sublime nature of this coral reef, it is possibly among the top destinations to visit in Nauru. Luckily, there are many entry points with guides available to help you get the hang of this incredible activity. You can also rent a diving kit at these points in case you came unprepared. But the bottom line is that scuba diving the coral reefs here is an activity you do not want to miss. Number 8. Get a bird's eye view of Nauru Nauru is undoubtedly a fascinating country to explore with exciting people, culture, and activities to keep you entertained. The small size of the island also means you can tour around the country in only a little time, as most tourists do. However, you can catch an alternative view of this country from high up on the Command Ridge. Most tourists do not know of this incredible site, but the few who have been here have had many positive reviews. The Command Ridge is known as the highest point in all of Nauru, with an elevation of about 213 feet. It is located in the Iwo district and it gives a bird's eye view of the island. You can see pretty much everywhere in the country from the top of this ridge, and the view is also superb from up here. Number seven, go shopping at the local supermarkets. Nauru is known for its few outstanding features that include the busy local markets. This is also not surprising since about 90% of the food's country is imported and sold in these markets. The dynamic nature of these markets makes them even more worthy attractions since you can just sit and watch buyers and sellers transact. However, you may want to get in on the action yourself and buy an item or two. You can rest assured that these local foods are worth your money and you will enjoy the treat. Also, if you're looking for a suitable souvenir to take with you from this country, you can find several brilliant art and crafts being marketed here. These crafts are unique and handmade, which makes them even more impressive. Whatever you choose to get from these local markets, you can count on the experience to be a fun and unforgettable one. Number six, go deep sea fishing on the Pacific. Another exciting activity you can't afford to miss out on during your stay in this island country is deep sea fishing. Just as the name suggests, deep sea fishing is a type of fishing done in deep waters, 100 feet deep or more. It is often done on prominent waters, and Nauru is lucky to be surrounded by the Pacific Ocean. This incredible water body is home to an exciting variety of fish like tuna, barracuda, and marlin, among others. If you have not experienced this activity before, just know you are about to push your fishing skills to an unbelievable level. You can hire a boat and head out into the deep to enjoy this fabulous fishing experience. However, you may want to tag along with some guides or experts who can put you through and help you stay safe on the surface. In all, you can rest assured of an experience of a lifetime fishing on the Pacific. Number 5. Get Sporty on the Island you may not know this, but this small island country is big on sports, and a visit here will convince you. Like other island countries and archipelagos in Oceania, water sports are prominent in Nauru. Swimming, fishing, and surfboarding are among the most played sports here. However, unlike many neighboring countries, Nauru has adopted Australian rules football as its national sport. Australian football is similar to American football, but it is played on an oval-shaped field rather than a rectangular one. This sport has been played in Nauru since the 1910s, planting it deep into the country's heritage. You can join the locals to play a match or two if you're sporty enough. You can also just cheer from the sidelines if you're not fit enough to engage in the contact sport. Weightlifting is also popular in this part, and you can head to a sporting complex to watch the experts do their thing. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 4. Explore the Mokwa Caves 
The Mokwa Caves may not be the most famous tourist attraction in Oceania, but it is certainly one of the most popular in Nauru. It is located in Yaren, which is the country's capital, and it holds significant value to the people here. The network of caves is a natural wonder and a must-see for tourists visiting the capital village. A stroll through the caves will bring you to the underground lake here, known as the Mokwa Wells. Indeed, the beauty of the water makes it a sight to behold, and its relevance puts it high among the highlights of the cave tour. In context, this water body was the main source of drinking water for locals here during World War II, which is why it is commonly referred to as a well rather than a stream. You will also find the graffiti on the cave's rock walls quite catchy and worthy of a closer look. Number 3. Learn Nauru History at the National Museum Want to learn about the rich history of this island country? Then your destination should be none other place than the Nauru National Museum, which is located in Yaren. This museum was only established in 2019, but it has a truckload of Nauru history within its walls. Surely, there's lots to learn about this country, from the German annexation to the phosphate mining that made it famous, and more. The people and culture of Nauru are also worth looking into, and you'll get all this information here at the National Museum. You will also find some relics from World War II and other exciting monuments that point to the rich history of this great country. Number 2. Spend a relaxing afternoon at Annie Barre Bay. Oceania is known for its incredible beaches, and Nauru does not lack its fair share. This small country boasts some beautiful white sand beaches, but Anibare Bay is arguably the most outstanding, not just because of its size, but also for its unique scenery. It is located in Anibare District and is a popular attraction in this part of the country. Surely you want to head out to the bay and enjoy an afternoon sunbathing on the beach. The fine white sands are comparable to that of the world's best beaches, and the tall palm trees make an incredible backdrop that all adds to the experience. The pure water here also makes swimming a worthy activity, coupled with other water sports played here. However, tourists must remain cautious of the somewhat heavy surf and rip currents that frequent the beach. Other than that, you know you are in for a world of excitement here at Anibare Bay. Number 1. Visit Buada Lagoon Another attraction that will be in contention as the highlight of your trip to Nauru is the Endoreic Buada Lagoon in the Buada district. The slightly blackish freshwater lake is famous for many reasons, including the fact that it is the country's most common source of fresh water. The lake here is not for swimming, but the view of the lagoon and surrounding lush green foliage is absolutely delightful. You will find this picturesque landscape almost too much to take in and the experience unforgettable. Surely, you want to experience it firsthand. Click here for more places to visit in Oceania.